Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, &D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to do what's called cupping and covering. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I got my inspiration from uh, Lamb Jasmine Art. I will list her name in the description. Let's go over my paints. I'm just going to be laying down a puddle of a combination of the Lucas Krill Studio Pastel Yellow and Master's Touch Thick Body Acrylic White. And I will show you that color. It's a very, very pretty pale yellow. And also I'm showing you how thick this paint really is. And I will go over my pouring medium in a minute. My next color is the Blick Rillic Turquoise. My next color is Blick Rillic Primary Blue. And the balance of my colors, except for one, are Arteza. And my first one is a combination of the Arteza Prussian Blue and Arteza Pearl Navy. I just did receive a box of these pearl colors, and they're very pretty. My next one is the Arteza Electric Plum Purple. My next color is the Arteza fiery red. Then I have Arteza shady orange. And Arteza shocking lime green. And my um, covering color is going to be modern masters pearl white. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is stop the camera and get some of these paints out of the way. I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay everybody, we're back and here I'm just filling my cup starting with uh, I think the lightest color there. The orange, the red, the blue, and then um, the turquoise and that fiery green color. And I did put a little bit of my base coat on that to buffer between the, the purple and um, that green. Now I'm just laying down a, a puddle of my base coat there. I'm just doing a straight pour on it. And I decided to put some of that turquoise and some of the Prussian blue and navy combination. And even the and that's the darker, the darker blue there. Giving it a quick torch. I am doing a voiceover for this part of the uh, video. Just stretching it out a little bit. And now I'm laying down that covering color. That's the Modern Masters Pearl White. I won't cover all of the paint, but just drizzling, drizzling it on there. Now I'm doing the tipping process here. Spreading that paint out. Quite thick paint. And I did forget to tell you about my pouring medium. It's six parts Floetrol, three parts Mod Podge, and one part GAC 800. And so I use two parts of that combination with one part paint. A few of my paints I thin just a little bit with water to get them all the same consistency. And here I'm just cleaning off the edges. Actually, I thought this looked pretty pretty nice here as it is, but I wanted to do some balloon rolls and some balloon kisses for all of you. I'm going to do a little bit more tipping. I felt at this point that there was a little bit too much blue 
And I am trying to run a little bit of that off or at least put it down in the corner there. And here I'm taking my cup, and this is the cup cupping part of this technique. I'm just rolling the rim of that cup just to give the eye a little more interest to look at this painting, mixing up the colors a little bit. And also I am bringing up some of the colors from underneath, especially around the edges where I laid that, uh, the Prussian blue, the pearl navy, the primary blue and the turquoise down. There are a couple areas on this painting I really didn't care for the color of. Kind of turned out greenish, but you'll see that I add enough flowers and color to it that it, it kind of hides it and brings out better colors. Again, you can see me just making kind of like stems with that cup and maybe some leaves there, just pushing that cup through that paint. This was really, really a fun painting to do. I am speeding this up about three times because it did take me quite a bit of time to do this process. And again, if you get a chance to uh, check out Lamb Jasmine Art, she does a lot of the uh, cupping and covering technique along with a lot of other uh, beautiful paintings. And this is where I learned that technique is from Lamb. I do work quite a bit on that corner there because I really thought those, those blue colors were pretty. You could probably achieve this with a skewer, but I decided to use the edge of the cup because the one video I watched Lamb do, she did use the, uh, the edge of the cup. And now I have my balloon. It is a water-filled balloon, and I'm just starting to do some balloon kisses here. And I am stringing my flowers out can see me just I twist my wrist just a little bit and here I'm using my finger just to add a little something to these flowers and here this is um, a cotton ball that I've, wrap, I've wrapped saran wrap around and put a, um, a rubber band around it it just gives me a little bit smaller flower Again, you can see me stringing out those flowers there and bringing up the blue underneath. This is just a really great technique to play with. And here I'm using a little bit bigger balloon again. I am just bringing up some of that base coat there. In the areas where there was a lot of paint, what I did is I removed some of the paint first with my balloon and then I added colors at the bottom of the balloon as I'm doing right here, just to add some different colors in the area. Again, you can see me twisting my wrist there when I do make those flowers that are in a row. Here I'm just putting some paint right down on the canvas 
And then I'm going to just do a balloon kiss on top of that to see what I can achieve there. And there I think I added some turquoise in some of that navy and Prussian blue to the bottom of the balloon. And here I am pulling up some more of that paint there. And just adding color again, the Prussian blue in the turquoise. And just using the small balloon there to make some flowers. Like here I, I am again stringing out some flowers. And surprise, there was some orange and some reddish color down there in that corner, which turned out very pretty. Decided to use the cup a little bit again. Just to add a little interest there. And that, that again is that little cotton ball I'm using to make small flowers. as I am doing here too. And here you can see where that dark blue is coming up so nicely. Again, adding some color think that was the orange and some of that um, primary blue. I just felt that, that that area needed a little bit more orange to it, a little bit more color. You can see where I'm trying to um, <clears throat> take away some of that greenish color there brighten it up with some different colors. Here I'm taking my skewer and just drawing out and actually adding some green to this area. It's another thing that you can do. Add color to your painting. We're going to get you down for a close-up here very, very shortly. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and I am showing you the whole painting here. And let's just go to the upper left-hand corner. Again, this was a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I did a cupping and covering with balloon kisses, and I'm very happy with the final results here. So colorful, nice flowers. I'll take you over the whole painting. I did play with it quite a bit. I like that area. And I do like this area coming up right here. I just really liked how those flowers turned out there. And I will take you up the uh, right-hand side here. I do like this corner. 
with the orange and the pink color there. And I do like, I like this in here too. I played with it a little bit. Drew, drew out some of that green. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. That would help my channel grow. Thank you for watching and spending time with me today. Until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.